If everything goes how I have it planned for the day, then today's video is gonna be a treat for y'all. Today's video is gonna be a treat. Uh, for y'all that have been subscribed for quite some time now, you do know that I did have a Mustang Terminator Cobra before. First off, thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel. I am grateful for all of you. But the video is primarily gonna be geared towards the people who have been subscribing for a long time because y'all have been missing the Mustang content. I might actually end up taking this jacket off because it is getting rather warm. I'm gonna turn the air up a little bit. Y'all can see by the title of today's video and the thumbnail, I am gonna be attempting to drive another Mustang on the channel. He doesn't even realize that I'm about to try to come up there to drive it, which is why I'm gonna give him a call to make sure he's even at home so we can get this show on the road. Go ahead and call him while the car is warming up. Hello? Hello? No, I didn't know what you're doing. Oh, uh, you at home? Yeah, well, right down the street, but yeah. Cuz, I was trying to see if I could come up there and uh, drive your car for a video right quick. Yeah, give it a dog. Go on, in and go ahead. It's dirty, though. That don't mean nothing. Look all the keys on the cars. You got, uh... Like, your tires on it good? Uh, I'm gonna text you whenever I get in St. Francisville. Uh... Alright. Well, time for me to take this Celsius and get the show on the road. Oh yeah, about Celsius. Nothing's wrong with it in my opinion, but some of my friends don't like whenever I drink it. They say it's not good for you and all that kind of stuff. Only thing that I see that could potentially be bad would be probably the taurine in it and the caffeine. And so... There's only 200, well I'm saying only, but that's half of the daily dosage of caffeine that an adult person needs in their body daily. And there's only uh, 200 milligrams of it in each can of this. And each can of, well each cup of coffee is around 100 milligrams of caffeine or so, unless you're drinking decaf. And a lot of people drink coffee, more than one cup, two cups, maybe even three, four cups a day. and I don't see anything wrong with that to be honest with you especially if you take care of your body your health and uh make sure that you stay exercised up then i don't see anything wrong with it but let me know what y'all think in the comment section below about to sit up here and act like I don't miss that sound of a V8 coming from this Mustang because my Mustang sounded pretty good as well with the pretty much straight pipe and X-pipe uh, but y'all will hear that whenever we get along with the drive. I don't know how I feel about driving this car I'm not even gonna lie the nose of it is a little bit longer than my Mustang was the car in general is a little bit longer and we need to get inside of this thing and actually see how this thing drives. Right off the bat I'm realizing how dark he has it in here with this tent. It's so crazy. Uh, how do I even put, oh, the seat lets up a little bit because I'm shorter than him by a few inches. I already adjusted my seat uh, position, but I have probably about like an hour left of daylight. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch you over to the GoPro head mount and start with this drive. I'm pretty hyped to uh, see if I like this thing or not. Might actually give me another Mustang. Alright, do we have any drive modes? Sport, comfort, and normal. We're gonna go to sport. Uh, oh, that's the steering feel. 
Oh, so it's just the steering feel. Uh, traction control, we're gonna keep that on actually. And the clutch pedal, oh my gosh. Hey, this clutch pedal is showing this thing heavy. <laughs> it's way heavier than what I remember. But we're gonna get this seat belt on and start with this drive. That's reverse. Yeah, it's reverse. Alright. Okay. Oh, so the clutch pedal is not too different from my Genesis. Oh, lighten it up a little bit in here. Alright. I don't want to move his mirrors too much. is not stock it is pretty much full bolt on uh performance wise without like a bigger intake man wait actually i think he does have a different intake manifold i'm not sure i don't remember but it's it's pretty much full bolt on uh the suspension is all factory though and he just has a different set of wheels on it as you saw but other than that it's pretty much all factory I wish this car wasn't in front of me. <laughs> Let me find out he putting my head in the seat a little bit. <laughs> One thing I noticed right off the back is the amount of rev hang that this thing has. I don't know if that's like a very common thing but it does have rev hang. I don't know if you can buy like a pulley kit or anything to light that up some, or if that's just like a coyote thing or something. I'm not sure, I never had one. Ooh. Oh yeah, six gear is an overdrive gear. So like six gear is pretty much for cruising, highway speeds, like I guess 65 and up. But other than that, fifth gear is where you want to be. <laughs> Bruh, the shifter is very smooth, not even gonna lie. It's very smooth. I don't want to really give it all it's got because this ain't my car. I'm not used to driving it or anything, but I do want to try to drive it a little bit more than just cruising around just to see if this is actually something that I can see myself in. The sound of it is definitely there though. I ain't gonna lie, Sean, your car sound good, bro. It sound real good. Let me see if I can flip. A little downshift, fourth, third. Ah. <laughs> One thing I do know, I do notice, the steering wheel gets very, very light. And like, I don't like that it's like real floaty. So I don't feel connected as I need to be whenever accelerating like I just did. I don't really like that. <laughs> like it just felt like I was on a cloud almost. Like, and I don't think that feels very confidence expiring. If you know what I mean, it would take you to be in a different car that isn't like that to know what I'm talking about. But the power is there, it's there. It's definitely there, definitely a lot quicker than my Genesis is, or at least the torque is. I think I'm gonna wanna put these things side to side to actually see how much quicker this is than my Genesis with it being a six cylinder. I'm not sure how I feel about it performance wise. Power wise is there. I'm gonna just keep saying that. It's definitely there power wise. But whenever it comes to steering feel and handling, 
it's more of a cruiser mind you this is a gt but it's still a base gt that he did his own touch to and so i mean it might be a little better if you had a performance pack uh but as far as I, i'm concerned it's pretty much just a cruiser and i haven't taken it on any back roads or anything yet but i don't know like i could definitely see myself trying to purchase another mustang one day but as of now it isn't really selling me just because like i said the steering feel is let I me mean, look at this and it's barely even going anywhere <laughs> But we're gonna turn down here. This is a road I like to drive down. Well, I used to like to drive down whenever I stayed up here. And of course we have, what is that, a tracks in front of me or something? I don't know, of course we do though. And like I did state, I am not gonna be pushing this car to its limits or anything because this isn't my car and I don't feel very confident in my ability to drive this car. fifth gear and cruise at a regular speed sixth gear it's like uh, it's just oh, <laughs> I don't like that fifth gear is probably where I need to be but I'm gonna keep it in sixth. before I actually got on this drive I was thinking that the car was gonna feel pretty big it does feel big the nose of the car does seem long but at the same time the seats don't actually feel as bad as I thought they were gonna feel like they still kinda hug me in kinda not nearly as much as what i'm used to but it's not nearly as bad as what i thought it was gonna be and it does feel like more of a luxury style sports car like i can definitely tell that they went more long so the pony car route than the muscle car but i don't know i still am on the fence about how i feel about this car It's way too floated and like I get that he wants to stay on the stock suspension because he doesn't like all the the bumps and stuff the stiff suspension and I can see how this would be stiff enough for him but for me I think I, I would want my confidence a little bit better than this oh I'm turning right here and brake fluid low that light just came on whenever I hit the brakes Sean you might need to look into some brakes or at least the fluid change. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a pretty good car. Pretty good, pretty good. I don't know why I keep running up on all this traffic. I would think people would like to be at home around the holidays. But... That definitely doesn't seem like the case though, unless they're getting off work and getting ready for the holidays, last minute Christ Christmas shopping and taking care of business before they are at home with their families. By the way, I would wanna take the time right now to tell everybody happy holidays, Merry Christmas to everybody who celebrates it and happy late Hanukkah, happy late Kwanzaa. I'm not sure because i celebrate christmas and so i'm not really familiar with the dates of hanukkah and kwanzaa but happy that to y'all too the ones that do celebrate it and i appreciate y'all for taking the time this holiday season to watch this video but i'm gonna get back with y'all whenever i get a little free road <laughs> Not even gonna lie, this thing look pretty good, sound pretty good, drives pretty good. I don't know if it's my type. I can't knock it. I'm not even gonna lie, I can't knock it because he loves the car. I like the car for him. It's a big enough car for him. He is a little bit bigger than me by like a little bit. And I can see why somebody his size would like this car more so over like a tuner style car. 
Uh, and the power that it makes is quite nice. Look at it from this angle though. That's crazy. Let me just go ahead and give it a little montage. I ain't gonna lie, I need me some tire letters in my life, bruh. Now it's time to get back on the road. Looks like some of the traffic has uh, died down some. I'ma switch y'all back to the GoPro head mount and finish this drive. Man, I miss these roads, bruh. I miss driving on them like every weekend, just taking a cruise. driven on this road in a while. Well, it's looking like it's a little bit too much traffic for me to do any more spirited driving. Not that I did the best spirited, spirited driving in this car. Let me put the windows up so y'all can hear me. I can stop yelling. I used to take this road right here because I lived like on this stretch a little bit and just give the car pretty much all that it had because this is, I would think it's a little bit more than a quarter mile to be honest with you. And I used to just let it have it. But as of now, I can't do that because there's traffic on it. Oh well. An overall synopsis on the car. Like I said, the car is very well put together. It is still a, a factory suspension car, factory drivetrain car. It just has different performance mods on it for the power and torque. And with that being said, it's a great cruiser, a great highway car, and a great roll race car for sure. But I like canyon carving. I like taking cars on back roads. I like, you know, the more spirited, twisty turn style driving. And this is just not that as it sits like it is. I'm not taking anything away from this Mustang platform, but it's just 
it might not be my cup of tea. I would need to drive one with some lower suspension, uh, a lower center of gravity, stiffer suspension, and just better brakes. I mean, the brakes aren't bad. They aren't bad. Don't take this as me bashing the car at all, because I'm not, but it just needs a little bit more fine tuning and refinement. But hey, what do I know? I got rid of a Terminator Cobra and got a Genesis. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here because it is getting a little dark on me and I don't wanna run out of daylight before I actually ended the video. So if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave some positive vibes in the comment section below. Let me know if these are the style videos that y'all like to see or if y'all just are just happy to have another Mustang on the channel because I do have a, quite a few other cars that I actually could get behind the steering wheel on and actually drive. So let me know if y'all want to see that. Sean, I really do appreciate you for letting me drive your car for the 30 minutes or so that I've had it. I'm about to go uh, fill it back up like it was and take it back on to your house. But like I stated earlier, this is where I'm in today's video. So always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank y'all for watching.